โอเค ready go ready go so this is first your frontal view go you are shifting too much your effort to give rhythm that's good however these are not all connected so uh, initially you have um, this is shift away and then so instead of uh, recentering during the back swing you're staying here and also your wrist is quite loose here so you just uh, let it go and then it's loose here so you're not uh, well maintaining the connection between your body and the club in order to have a good connection, you should have reasonable tension here okay. so that your muscles and Same. tendons can tell you where the club is and what to do next. But, um, so this okay. is the end of the uh, back swing here. At the beginning of the down swing, you are dropping this first. See? You are sitting down and then try to use the arms to swing here. And then yeah. you are standing up late here. So what happens is uh, by trying to lower your body at the top here, you're losing the timing here. And then the next one you use your arms, but the, this arm action and your body action are not helping each other. So in the downswing, when you swing, then your lower body has to support this and then promote the good turn here. So you go up here and then come down and then try to do this. So it's mainly arm action. and then. Later, your body try to stand instead of go up here, good, maintain good connection here, and then throw by using the left leg, and then nicely stand on the left side. You go down here, so all the body parts are moving uh, independently, but they are not helping each other. So more than anything, you have to feel the motion of the club head. The end goal here, here is uh, to move the club head nicely around that you have to use your body well to promote that. And in the back swing, your right leg will do that. So using the leg action, you should be able to throw this faster this way. On the way down, the same thing, using the left leg and then throw this way. That way, you can really use the lower body to promote the upper body turn. But here, again, it is, uh, these motions are all separated. They're not helping each other. Okay. So, and the, your back swing is increased quite a bit compared to uh, the video you sent me. In that one, you had you had the really short back swing. Now, this is the down the line view here. Go. Hmm. So essentially, what happens is the you have this squat motion going down a little bit. The time is incorrect. So instead of uh, having this motion at the beginning of the downswing, that has to be done at the end of the back swing here. Ooh, and then already here. In the downswing, use the legs. But you go here and then you try to start downswing with the squat. That's why you lose the time. Yeah, the timing of the timing of the squat motion is actually late. That's the problem. So what we'll do is um, first let's have uh, a dance called the shun dance here. Okay. Put your arms in front of your chest. Come down. Uh, come over. No, no. Stay right in the middle here. Okay. And then there, lean forward slightly. And then you will, in this one, instead of uh, intentionally try to turn your body, just uh, focus on the shifting motion. So shift the left, shift the right, shift the left, shift the right, shift the left, shift the right, left, right, left. Right, yeah. Now, that's, this is actually quite promising. <laughs> mm. So as you use the legs, you will promote the shoulder turn here. So again, shift uh, this way first, here, this, here, here, push, 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 push. Oh, that's very good, actually. Mm. Now, the only thing is, the only thing is, you don't intentionally sit down. Okay. Rather, pay attention to push up, up. Between these up motions, you will have downward motion. 
Because if you want to go up, then you have to drop your body. Instead of intentionally sitting down here, after up and you will drop the body, up and drop the body, up and drop, by not pushing to the ground that hard. So during the up motion, you'll push the ground hard. With that, push and then relax a little bit, the body drops, push and then relax, push and relax. Yes, so just to pay attention to push, push. Yes, yes. So that way, that way, the, this uh, downward motion is naturally happening between the pushes, and then the timing also becomes uh, right. So again, so push, 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 push. This good leg push will automatically give you the shoulder turn, right? Now the arms down, and then here, try to throw the arms instead of try to swing the arms around the body. So kick, throw, 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 throw. Oh, and one thing, avoid this kind of figure. Go up here and then bring this in here and then drop here. Go in and, and drop here. Instead, just to reach out, reach out enough, reach out enough. So swing, 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 swing. Swing, yes. Swing, push up, push up, 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 yes. So both ways, oh, this is really good. So both ways, you are throwing the arms out, throwing the arms out. If you have the image of throwing out, then your leg will push and help you to do that. Reach out like this, by pushing here, to push and then reach out. Uh, again, you go up and you tend to drop. Instead, reach out, swing and reach out. Yeah. So particularly, be careful uh, on this side here. Okay. You go up here and then you tend to drop here. Instead, maintain the influence and then throw, throw around, throw around, throw around. So as you do, as you do, you have to have the feel of pushing the ground and then promoting this turn. Yeah. Push and turn, push and turn, push and turn, push and turn. Yeah. So instead of dropping here or pulling, your image is uh, by uh, pushing the ground with the leg and then throw, and then throw, throw. So when you have the, the feel of uh, using your legs to promote this turn, that means that the timings are all correct. Got it. Okay. Again, again, pay attention to push, push, okay. push, 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 more actively, push, push, push. Push, push, push. Yeah. So then you will do the lowering motion, downward motion, in between those. You don't, you don't put intention effort to, to do that. Simply pu pushing the ground the less you will allow your body to drop. Because the gravity is pulling your body all the way down. So whether you push the ground harder than the body weight or less than the body weight, that determines whether your body accelerates upward or downward. So when you have push, then obviously your force will be greater than the body weight. But then if you reduce the push force below the body weight, then your body automatically starts to uh, accelerate downward. So just to push more and then less, instead of try to sit down. And also, as you throw the as you throw the arms, if you use the arms, then what happens is you fold it and then try to do this here. But try to use a shoulder turn here. Throw, 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 throw. And then what's important is, as you change the direction both ways, you have to continue the shoulder turn here. It never stops. 
If the shoulder stops, then you use the arms here. It goes like this. But if you have continuous shoulder turn, mm, 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 make sure that your shoulder continues to turn both ways. Yes. Yes, now less dropping motion here. <laughs> yeah. So using the, using the leg actions, you are essentially turning the shoulders. And then particularly in the transition, you have a continuous shoulder turn and going back, continuous keep moving like this, instead of kind of stop and the arms goes up and then kind of stop here and the arms goes up here. So make sure you promote good shoulder turn by using the leg actions. Yes. Ooh. Keep swinging. Swing, 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 swing. Use the shoulder turn. Swing, 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 swing. Good shoulder. And then throw the arms by uh, turning the shoulder actively. Throw the arms, throw the hands, throw the hands, throw the hands. Yep, that's very good. So overall the, overall the body rhythm has improved quite a bit. So your body now works uh, kind of together here. Oh, yeah. Just like this. And swing, 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 swing. Good shoulder. And then throw the arms by uh, turning the shoulder actively. Throw the arms, throw the hands, throw the hands, throw the hands. So you need to have this up and down motion, but the timing should be right. Particularly the lowering motion, if it's late. So once you start downswing and then try to go down, you lose the timing. Then you will not be able to get the support from the legs. So push, push, and then low already here. Yeah? You have to push and then low already before the backswing ends. Then in the downswing, you just push the ground and then turn. But then, now the body is moving really well. Oh, this is impressive. <laughs> now let's go to the let's go to the e bell here. This is uh, about eight pounds, I think. So it's less than the kettlebell I used to use. So the nice thing about this is the handle is uh, inclined like this. When you hold the handles here, then it will naturally keep a, a, a slope here. Try to maintain this slope as you throw this both ways. Throw, 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 throw. No need to uh, throw it hard. <laughs> and most maybe uh, horizontal to horizontal here. But in doing this, the tempo don't go too fast. And then try to use the legs. Imagine this is a heavy, uh, heavy bag of cement. You want to load this on your truck, right? Then you have to use your legs to try to throw this instead of using the arms here. So nice rhythmic motion coming from your leg action. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. As you push, naturally it will go up. So it's not you know, intentional throw using the arms, but rather use the legs. Uh, it's too high, too high, too high, too high. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, just about You're this system. Yeah. Right. And try to feel, try to feel the rhythm here. And then use the leg, leg push to uh, drive everything. Push, left push, right push, left push, right push. Yep. Oh. Keep doing, keep swinging, and then try to minimize your effort. So don't put a lot of effort there. It has to come from your leg action and the good body action. Nothing else. Swing, swing, swing. Feel the flow. Swing, 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 swing. Very good. So let's take a look at this. You're responding to these really well. Swing, swing, swing. Feel the flow. Swing, 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 swing. Very good. So the body is guiding. The body is shifting first, and then you cannot throw the 
the email using the legs. So this is the idea. And then um, as you get more skillful, you will be able to reduce the, the degree of a lateral uh, shift here. Because in the end, what we want to do is uh, confine your body motion within this uh, triangular space here. So if you have a full length, um, full body mirror in front of you, then put the two tapes this way. Or outside, keep the sun behind you using your shadow, put two sticks on the ground. And when you move your body, your head is not moving that much, but your pelvis can move quite actively. So with that, throw, 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 like this. So instead of shifting too much and going like this, you can reduce the degree of uh, the shift. Yeah. And then for that, you have to use the legs because uh, when the legs are pushing, when the, uh, the feet are pushing the ground down and out, down and out, this way here, the ground direction force will come this way. This will confine your motion, so it will not allow you to go too far here. Push it here, this is straightened on this side. Yeah. And then push here, this will straighten. Mm, ooh, ooh, ooh. So then you can maintain still active leg actions, but you don't have to move right. your body a lot. Yeah. yeah, yours are, quite, are very quiet. Mm. Okay. So once you, once you learn the rhythm, then you can reduce the size of uh, lateral shift here. Uh, because it's, the, the, it's a too high, that's why. You don't have to go that high, just feel the flow. So about this much, this much, this much. Just give a little bit of rhythmic motion. And then have the image of using the low, low body to throw, help the motion. Yeah, so uh, overall the rhythm is really good. Let me record this from here. And then we can move on to the next one. Swing, and then come up with a really comfortable uh, motion pad here. No need to put a lot of effort here. If you use the legs nicely, then uh, it should be easy. Swing, 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 good. A lot of effort here. If you use the legs nicely, then uh, it should be easy. Swing, 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 good. So this will allow you to more pay attention to the device you're dealing with. The goal is to move this nicely, right? Instead of your body moving the way you want and then ignore the, the device, rather you have to uh, um, shape the overall motion in such a way that you really generate the motion you want. And this is really good. Okay. You already graduated. <laughs> <laughs>